All right. Welcome to our social studies today. We are revising common areas tested in social studies grade 7. Uh, please note this is a compilation of the main areas that are tested in social studies grade 7 assessment including SBAs. Uh, the first question goes to definition of social studies. One mark. Define social studies. Yeah. Social studies refers to the study of people in relation to each other and their environment. Social studies refers to the study of people in relation to each other and their environment. Number two, or part B of this question, State the three branches of social studies. Three branches of social studies. This is one mark. Though can be three marks, yes. Yeah, the correct answer should be geography, history, and citizenship education. Geography, history, and citizenship education. Number two. Biological differences should not determine one's career choice. Discuss. True. Careers should not be determined by one's gender because all jobs or careers can be done by anyone who is able and willing. Careers are not determined by one's gender since all jobs or careers can be done by anyone who is able and willing. Who is an entrepreneur? Who is an entrepreneur to Max? Yeah. An entrepreneur is a person who uses skills to create business or economic activities that improve life in the society. An entrepreneur is a person who uses skills to create business or economic activities that improve life in the society. Question number four. Discuss two strategies for addressing gender stereotypes associated with career choice and entrepreneurial opportunities in social studies. Discuss two strategies for addressing gender stereotypes associated with career choice and entrepreneurial opportunities in social studies. Yeah. Providing role models of women and men in different careers that is one of the strategies that you can use to address gender stereotypes, providing role models of women and men in different careers. Enlightening both boys and girls on the fact that all career can be done by anyone who is able and willing. Enlightening boys and girls on the fact that all career can be done by anyone who is able and willing. Number three, sensitizing, sensitizing learners on career choices and entrepreneurial opportunities. Sensitizing learners on career choices and entrepreneurial opportunities. You can correct the spelling mistake, sensitizing. Number four, initiating, initiating class and club rules that discourage, discourage gender stereotypes in career choices. Initiating class or club rules that discourage gender stereotypes. Then now, if you have been having a problem on time, you 
have to pay attention here. We are going to calculate time in social studies. Calculating time using different angulars and the same angular. We know that we have prime meridian and prime meridian divides the earth into two angulars, that is eastern angular and the western angular. So here we are calculating time in social studies and we know that one degree equals to four minutes and 15 degrees equals to one hour. The other rotates, the other rotates from west to east. The other rotates from west to east and therefore it rotates in anticlockwise direction. Uh, that means those on the east see the sun first. Those on the east see the sun first. Their time is ahead. Now, let us start with the first question. Number five. If the time in Monrovia, 12 degrees west, Liberia, is 8 a.m., what is the time in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, 30 degrees east? If the time in Monrovia, Liberia, 12 degrees west is 8 a.m., what is the time at Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, 30 degrees east? So the first and foremost, draw the Cartesian plane. Cartesian plane is just... Um, is just across like this, whereby the line at the center is the prime meridian. So you put it zero degrees, and this side we say east, and this side west. Now, after drawing the Cartesian plane, plot the two locations. Plot the two locations. So Liberia, we have been told, is 12 degrees west. So we go to the western side and mark somewhere and write 12 degrees. And then you call it, that is Monrovia, and the time there was 8 a.m. Can you see it? Wow. Now, let's go to the other side, Addis Ababa. So on the eastern side, I am going to mark somewhere, and I write there that 80 degrees, and I say that is Addis Ababa, and it is 30 degrees, but I don't know. I do not know the time. Get the difference of the longitudes in different angulars, we said we add the degrees. So look at this, western angular and eastern angular. We have 12 degrees on the western and 38 degrees on the eastern. So in short, just add 12 plus 38 to get the difference. So now, from 12 degrees to 0, that is 12 degrees. And from 0 to 38 degrees east, it is 38 degrees. Total degrees will be? 12 degrees plus 38, which is 50 degrees. Now, what are we going to do? You say, if we, we said earlier that one degree equals to four minutes. One degree equals to four minutes. What about 50 degrees equals to what? So you cross multiply. When you cross multiply, it becomes 50 times four. 50 degrees times four minutes over one degree. Cancel, cancel degree and degree. So it becomes 50 times 4, which is 200. So 50 times 4 is 200 minutes, 200 minutes. Now, uh, after getting 200 minutes, remember these are minutes, and we know that one hour equals to 60 minutes, or 60 minutes equals to one hour. What do we do next? We do this. Moving to the east, you add time. So moving to your right hand, moving to your right hand side, add time. So it means that those on the east, as you said earlier, they are ahead. Their time is ahead than those on the west. So the time in Addis Ababa is ahead by 200 minutes. The time in Addis Ababa is ahead by 200 minutes. What's next? So I can write here hours and minutes. Then I put it was 8 a.m. Now it is ahead by 200 minutes. But I am not going to write plus 200 minutes here. No, I have to change them to hours and minutes. So what do we say? We say that 60 minutes equals to one hour. 60 minutes equals to one hour. Therefore, 200 minutes will be, I just divide by 60 using the long method. So it gives me three remainder 20. 
30 minutes. Three hours, 20 minutes. Confirm kindly. Then after that, uh, the time in Addis Ababa is the sum. Will be the sum of 8 a.m. plus the three hours, 20 minutes. So that is the very simple. <laughs> now, let, let us write. This is three hours, 20 minutes. So we just add it to 8 a.m. 8 a. So add it there. It then becomes zero. That is zero plus 20 is 20. And eight plus three is 11. So you write 11. 20 because it was am just write am and that is the answer got in it wow let us continue next question still on time let us do more uh number six the time in numasa village longitude four degrees west is 2 40 pm what is the time in my shamele Town longitude four degrees east, three marks. All right, as we said earlier, draw Cartesian plane. So, you draw the Cartesian plane and mark a uh, prime meridian and show the angulars that is eastern and western angulars. Then, after that, plot the information, plot the two locations. So, we start with the Numasa, which is on the west, that is four degrees uh, west, and that is Numasa. And the time there was 2.40 p.m. Now I go to my Shambele town in Eastern. So I go to Eastern Angular and mark somewhere on the right four degrees. Then that is my Shambele, my Shambele. Now what next? I don't know the time there. That is what I want to calculate. So get the difference of the longitudes. We have said in different angulars. What do we do? We add. So add, just add from four to zero, that is four degrees. And from zero to four, that is four degrees. So total is four plus four, which is eight degrees. Remember, one degree equals to four minutes and therefore eight degrees equals to cross multiply. Uh, then you say eight degrees times four minutes over one degree. Then you cancel degree and degree. So you get eight times four. Eight times four, which is that two. So my shambele is bele with that two minutes. <laughs> now, uh, so we have gotten that two minutes. Eh? So what do we do? Move into your right. We said you add time. So move into your right. Since from four degrees west to four degrees east, that is moving to your right hand side so you add time so the time in my shambele is ahead by that two minutes therefore the time in my shambele is the sum of 2 40 pm and that two minutes as simple as that so right hours and minutes and right to 40 then you add that two and unfortunately when you add that two it is past 60. okay 60 minutes equals to one hour so you say 40 plus that two gives us 72 minutes. We're getting 72 minutes. What do we do? We subtract 60. Sub, subtract, subtract 60. <laughs> it gives us 12, 12, degrees, 12 minutes. So these 12 minutes are the ones you are going to write here. You write 12 minutes and then you carry one hour because this 60 minutes was one hour. So you take it to the other side and add it there. Two plus one gives us three. Then you look at the time it was p.m. or a.m. It was p.m. Therefore, uh, my Shambele town is the time at my Shambele town is 3 12 p.m. As simple as that. Mark it correct. Uh, you can take screenshot or just uh, copy it into your access book and make sure you revise, you revise. Never fail questions on time, calculating time. Just know the angulars. Another example, the last one now, that is number, let us do number. The time in Mapera village, longitude seven degrees east is 4 p.m. 
What is the time in Lotineo town, longitude 22 degrees east? Kindly like these videos, like them, you can share with your colleagues, you can even subscribe to our channel, and I will appreciate. So let us first begin with drawing the Cartesian plane and plot them two locations correctly. So we said draw it just like this. Uh, put there and this is eastern and this is western. Now, go back to the question. The question says, the time in Mapera village long to seven degrees east. So it is on, <laughs> these ones are on eastern side, both of them. So we are not going to concentrate on the western side because you'll be told both of them are in west eastern. So just mark somewhere in the eastern angular, mark seven degrees. Uh, you mark seven degrees like that, and then you call that as Mapera, Mapera village. And the time there was 4 p.m. You write 4 p.m. Then you go to again to the eastern, you move to the far east, uh, you somewhere, and you mark 22 degrees there, and you call it Lotineu town, Lotineu town. And uh, the time there, that is what you want. So, first of all, get the difference in longitudes. Okay. Now, you can read here. In the same angulars, if they are marked on the same angulars, then sub subtract subtract the degrees. So 22 minus 7 will be the difference. So now come and say from 7 to 22, that is 15 degrees, because 22 minus 7 is 15 degrees. So total degrees is 22 minus 7, which is 15 degrees. And then you say, if 1 degree equals to... Four minutes, then 15 degrees equals to what you cross multiply. Now, you say 15 degrees times four minutes over one degree, then you simplify degree and degree disappears, then it becomes 15 times four. 15 times four is multiples of 15, four times, that is 60. So 60 minutes. So this is 60 minutes. Now, what do we do? We are still, again, uh, we are biased time on the eastern side moving from from the west moving from the left side to the right hand side we said uh, moving to your right hand add time add time so the time in Lotineu is ahead by 60 minutes therefore the time in Lotineu is the sum of 4 p.m and one hour because 60 minutes equals to one hour just like that so you write hours and minutes so it is 4 p.m uh you add uh just you you just add one hour because 60 minutes equals to one hour so you add one hour there this one hour you put it here and it becomes like that so zero plus zero is zero and four plus one is five so the correct answer should be uh, this is pm yeah the lotineo town the time in lotineo town is 5 pm 5 pm market correct <laughs> <laughs>